Ender becomes a non-denominational funeral director. Hi everyone, so I'm back and here I am with another review. And this one is Speaker for the Dead by Orson Scott Card. Now if you think this is anything like Ender's Game, you're in for a big surprise. 3,000 years after Ender's Game, Ender has been asked to kind of preside over the death of someone on this world called Lusitania. Now he's a speaker for the dead, which means he digs up a lot of information and talks about the person's life in a very unbiased fashion. So he talks about the good and the bad. But this world is populated by Catholics, so there's a lot of resistance. Also, this world is a, a place where they found a very intelligent species, which they're calling the piggies, because they're kind of piggy, pig-like, I guess. And he's discovered a lot about them. Now, Ender is also known as Xenocide, which is not a good thing. So, Speaker for the Dead and Xenocide are the same person, but no one knows this. So Ender, or Andrew Wiggin, is a lot wiser now. He's not 3,000 years old. He's been traveling around a lot. So, you know, you do space travel. Time dilation kind of helps along. So he's he's been around for 3,000 years, but he's not that old. Also, his sister Valentine is in here. And those two are very, I guess you could say, very wise now. Well, Novinia is one of the main characters in this book, and she is a very withdrawn person, and her children are quite diverse. Some of them hate Ender, some of them love him. They, they just trust him explicitly. So, it creates a lot of friction. However, I think the stars of this book are the piggies. So Card does a really good job of portraying an alien species and their culture, and it is a very interesting culture. It's quite unique, I thought. The story can be pretty dark and violent. Some of it is really violent, but there is a very good reason for this, and it is not totally understood until later. Also, Ender, or I should say Andrew, is portrayed as someone who seems to know exactly what to do at any time. So, even though he knows the perfect things to do, sometimes it creates a bit of turmoil and friction. The story takes place mostly on Lusitania, in their small community. Most of the planet is occupied by the piggies, but this tiny little community is occupied by humans. And you get to know this community very well. I could imagine the whole thing in my mind extremely well. So it was very well done, I thought. I thought this book was a really good way of seeing what a different culture is like and the kind of misunderstandings that can happen because of the cultural differences. The length of this book makes it fairly easy to read quickly and it was very different from Ender's Game. So you might be surprised when you read this. It has a very different tone and the pacing is quite different. You're not going to be treated to battle tactics and things like that. Ender is no longer a child as well. He's an adult. So it's a very different tone. I enjoyed this book a lot, actually. I thought it was better than Ender's Game, and I thought Ender's Game was pretty good. So overall, I gave this four and a half stars out of five, and I think I'd like to stick with that. It was very good, and my impression of it after all this time hasn't really changed much. It is still good in my mind, I think. So definitely recommend it. Have you read Speaker for the Dead? Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And while you're at it, check out these videos over here. You might find something you like. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.